Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. And I hope you guys are having a nice day. And I kind of woke up this morning and I thought, is this possible in Minecraft? And as it turns out, it is. And I'm very quickly just gonna show you what I have done right here. Just a little bit of fun. But I thought some of you would be interested in this, but basically I have created this in Minecraft. So essentially a lightning grenades, I guess, or lightning snowballs, I guess I'll call them. But basically any snowballs that actually come in contact with an entity or the ground will actually summon a lightning bolt at that position. So however many I actually throw, they all will unleash lightning power on the Minecraft world right here. And I've wondered if this was possible, and it is, and you only need three command blocks in order to get it to work. So I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how to do this, and who knows, maybe you'll have some fun with this, or maybe even learn something new. But uh, if you do enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, then be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss anything. And I am going to go through the commands with you guys, but basically there's some fairly complex stuff going on here with the command blocks. And essentially I was trying to figure out like how can we actually detect that a snowball has actually hit the ground. Now I have done a previous video where I actually did TNT arrows in Minecraft. Uh, that was actually a bit easier than this because um, arrows in Minecraft actually have data tags on whether they're actually in a block or not when they actually get when they actually hit the ground or hit a block. But snowballs don't have that sort of tag or data available in the game. So you have to do a slightly different method in order to get this to work. So what we're actually doing is we're throwing the snowball. So imagine I've just thrown this snowball. It actually makes contact with the ground and then the lightning bolt actually gets summoned at that position. Now, there are three main things that we need to do here in order to get this to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get out some uh, signs right here just to kind of explain the three step process. Uh, this is actually a repeating command block, so we're actually doing this over and over and over again. But this is the process that we actually have to do. So the first thing we need to do is um, we need to actually uh, look um, for a particular entity. Now, in order to detect if a snowball has actually hit the ground, we actually have to summon another entity at the snowball and then basically wait for it to die or be killed. So what I mean by that is what we can do is we can uh, check if any, um, if any snowballs are near any armor stands. So that is the first thing we need to do. Now, the reason why I'm saying armor stands here is that that is the entity we're going to use. So what's gonna happen is when we throw the snowball, so imagine I've just thrown the snowball, as it moves through the air, we're going to be summoning a an invisible armor stand uh, at the snowball's location. And basically it's gonna keep on doing that as it goes through the air, okay? So the reason why we need to do that is so that um, when the snowball hits the ground and disappears, the armor stand will then not have any snowballs near it. And then that's actually our trigger for the lightning bolt. So that is what we're going to do. I'm hoping that made sense to you guys, but uh, yeah, we're going to be checking for any armor stands near the snowballs that are currently in the world in order to get this to work. Um, after we've done that, what we then need to do is um, at this position here, we actually have to kill any armor stands. So that is the second step. And the reason why we have to do that, I'll explain in just a moment. 
Now the final step is this. The final step is that we have to spawn armor stands uh, near any snowballs. Okay, so that is the three step process that we need to do. Now, if I actually get an armor stand here so that I can show you a few things about it, um, when we actually do use the armor stand here, it obviously won't look like this. Um, it'll actually be invisible. And the reason why we need it to be invisible, of course, is we don't want it to be showing whilst we're checking for the snowball when it's actually hit the ground. And the other thing we're going to do as well, as well as making it invisible, is we're going to make sure that it has no hitbox at all and it can't interact with anything in the world. So it's a complete invisible, uh, almost traceless object, I suppose, is the best way to put it. And um, another thing we're going to do as well is when we spawn one of these armor stands, so when we spawn an armor stand near any snowballs, oh, you've decided to just uh, completely ruin my command block tutorial, haven't you? God damn it. You know what? This is a great place to uh, test out my little uh, snowball stuff right here. There we go. That is about right. As you can see, very powerful and uh, <laughs> very diabolical, I guess, watching a, uh, a tradesman just uh, burn to death in uh, lightning bolts, but uh, nonetheless very entertaining. <laughs> All right, what was I saying before that trader uh, annoyingly interrupted me? But uh, what we're going to do as well is that when we're using these armor stands, we're actually going to add a tag to it, and we're going to add a a lightning tag just so that we can actually so that we know what kind of armor stands we're targeting and um, if you don't put a tag on the armor stand it will basically it will check any armor stand that's nearby and that's not what we want to do uh, we only want to check uh, Pacific ones so basically any time we're looking at armor stands in these command blocks we're only going to be looking at ones tagged with lightning, okay? So when we're checking if there's any snowballs uh, near any armor stands, we're only going to be checking for these guys right here with this special tag. And the same for killing and the same for when we actually spawn new armor stands to any snowballs. So um, what we're going to do now is I'm gonna go through each of the commands right here so that we can actually get this working and you guys can actually uh, actually build it with me. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do three command blocks. And if you don't have a command block, make sure to use the following command. So slash give your name, and then uh, you're going to need Minecraft colon command underscore block in order to actually get a command block. Now, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to uh, make this one a repeat command block and these two chain command blocks. So what's going to happen is this one runs first, then this one, and then this one in sequence, and it will do it over and over and over again. So the first command block that we need to do is we need to uh, essentially do some checking if there's any snowballs near any armor stand that we've actually spawned in. Now this is the first thing that we actually have to do. So we do slash execute and then at E. So at E means all entities. And then what we then do is type equals armor stand. So we're only looking at armor stands in this example. And then the next thing we need to do is tag equals lightning. So this is the way that we're going to only target lightning armor stands in quotes using this special tag. Um, you will see this being used later on. Now, what we actually want to do is we want it so that the lightning bolt is summoned if there's no snowball near the the armor stand when it checks okay and how we're going to do that is we're going to use the unless keyword here so 
basically this will only run if it fails okay which might sound a bit complicated but bear with me in just a second here so unless entity so we're checking if there's an entity nearby so unless entity at e type equals snowball okay so we're checking for snowball and then we're going to use the distance selector and then do dot dot two and then close the square bracket and what this is doing here is we're basically checking if there's any snowballs within two blocks um, and this command or this execute command will succeed or run if it doesn't find a snowball within two blocks okay and that is basically what we're doing here and in order to actually summon the um, the lightning bolt we do run summon and then minecraft uh, minecraft colon lightning bolt like that and that's it done that's the first command now a little bit tricky because of this on because of the unless keyword there but in summary we're checking any lightning armor stands that have been tagged and we only summon a lightning bolt if it can't find a snowball near it now the only time that will actually happen is when the snowball hits the ground and disappears okay so that is why we're using that logic okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to essentially kill any lightning armor stands okay and uh, what we're going to do for that is we're going to do kill at E and then type equals armor stand and then tag equals lightning, okay? So that is our second command. Now, the reason why we need this is so that we can obviously get rid of armor stands over time, but also, this ensures that the lightning bolt only happens once. If you don't get rid of the armor stand directly after the lightning bolt is summoned, then what would happen is it would just keep on summoning lightning bolts over and over and over again, okay? Um, so that is why we're having to kill the, the, the armor stand here, the lightning armor stand after the lightning bolt has been summoned, okay? And we're nearly done. We're not quite done yet. So throughout these entire command blocks, the only thing we haven't done is summoning these special armor stands near the snowball. Okay, so we leave this till last because we want it to be done. We don't want it to be done beforehand because of the order of the, of the way you have to do things. And because what will happen is if... There's no armor stands in play at all. So let's say you've not thrown any, thrown any snowballs for a while. Um, what will happen is it won't bother summoning any, um, any lightning bolts or anything. It can't kill anything because there are no armor stands. And then it's basically waiting for any snowballs to appear to start spawning these guys in, these lightning, these lightning tag armor stands okay so that is what we're going to do next so we're going to do slash execute and then this is going to be at at e okay and we're going to do type equals snowball okay so we're only considering snowballs in this case and what we want to do is we want to run and then summon an armor stand so minecraft colon armor stand okay and we're going to do tilde 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 so that will spawn the armor stand at the snowball's position because we're using an execute command in this case and we are now going to add some data tags in here so we're going to be doing tags okay and we're going to do some square brackets and inside here we're going to have lightning okay so this is where we're tagging the armor stand with lightning, okay? Like I was explaining earlier. 
And then once we've done tags, we then do invisible colon 1b. So this makes sure that the armor stand is not visible. And then we're going to do marker 1b, okay? So marker 1b is what actually makes the hitbox pretty much non-existent and basically make sure that the armor stand doesn't and doesn't like interact with anything else in the world all it's there for is a placeholder or something for us to check that is the only reason why it it, it actually exists okay and uh yeah that is about it those three commands are done the only thing we need to do now is make sure that all of these are always active because otherwise you'll just have to you'll have to run a redstone current over these every time but that is it done that is the the lightning snowballs done with the commands and if i throw this snowball right here you'll see that the lightning system does work and you can do as many as you so fit you can do so many at the same time it is absolutely crazy and uh, obviously in this case, you need to wait for the snowballs to actually reach the ground. And there's all the lightning that actually goes off right here. <laughs> all right, everyone, that's about it for this command block tutorial. Hopefully this was a good video and you learned something new and you learned something kind of cool. And uh, it, I did enjoy making this one because it was a bit of a challenge because I hadn't done command block stuff like this for quite a while so I did enjoy doing this one but uh, yeah if you did like the video be sure to like the video it'd be very much appreciated and if you want to uh, follow me on Twitter my Twitter is in the description or you can follow the Twitter on screen right now so that's at Draki series on Twitter and uh, if you want to see more videos like this or tutorials or see showcases all kinds of different things then subscribe to the channel so that you can uh, stay up to date and actually follow all the videos click the notification bell so you see notified of any future videos I hope to reach 10,000 subscribers as a goal so if you could help me achieve that then that that would be absolutely amazing and I hope all of you have a good day with uh, <laughs> these command blocks and within the lightning bolts and everything. And I will see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.